Welcome to Divine Beings of the Cosmos. It's your boy King James. I hope you take care of yourself. I hope you're out next to getting sun, drinking water. It's very crucial during this time of growth, expansion. Some would even say ascension. I want to start by setting my intentions. I intend to be my highest self at all costs. My DNA is restored, activated, transformed, transfigured, embodying my soul essence. I will my will to the oneness of the divine. I say. I want to start by saying welcome to another collective card pull and we're going to be focusing on the collective navigating through the celestial portals my this Patreon. north node representing the divine union thank you and the south node representing representing the two of swords and as chosen we always seek balance the middle path the m the middle the midas touch you are walking abundance and you should always know that remember that ashe now you guys wouldn't believe this, but believe it or not, before I pull, burn three and I flip it. And the first card that I pull, believe it or not, is the sun card, beacon of positivity, warmth, success, and vitality. This card signifies a return to childlike joy, an embrace of contentment, self-confidence, and triumph. But you wouldn't believe it, I went to my mystery deck and I drew another card. Another card was an amazing sun card as well. So now we have two sun cards and just one alone itself is extraordinary rare but two of them that's a very powerful occurrence amplifying the divine message of joy enlightenment and accomplishment this dual manifestation heralds a period of unparalleled positivity and triumph it speaks to the time of profound clarity and boundless optimism and abundance of growth of glow of gold this presence of the of the twin sun invites us to bask in the radiant energy of this moment embrace the inner light and let it shine forth with unwavering confidence and share your brilliance with the world yes this is a call to step into the realm of extraordinary of joy of success to your radiant essence and to become a beacon of light and love for all i've never pulled two sun cards i believe it has something to do with the ancestors bro i also believe like it's just like the inner child is gold your outer world is about to reflect that with this double power of the sun i say i don't know about you guys but i woke up after yesterday and i felt kind of different i felt weird at first that was until of course i went on walk and i had to refill my cups i don't have the luxury to just coast and chill not when the world is alive and living and animated we are the earth angels until the day we're not in the 3d realm fully you're gonna have to be practical you're going to have to do what is necessary to put yourself in the highest possible outcome and for me today that was filling up my cups i say because you can't give what you don't have this is cosmic retribution there is trials and the tribulation that is going on to conflict they're in or this conflict they want you in is conflict that they're in you are anointed double blessed with the double sun so it's important that you lead your merkaba that you prepare yourself a sanctuary before you start your day it is very crucial we don't have the luxury to bs anymore we are ascended you have power you are not ignorant of the fact emotionally and mentally i say and in fact you're in so much power you're fighting for this you're fighting for this divine union and it is a fight fight for love fight for boundaries a fight for peace the way we fight is not by sword but it's about making boundaries and preparing and setting up boundaries for your day so you don't have to fight usually when we fight it's because we didn't create the boundaries in the first place so a good way to prevent that is to initiate and ignite your day by putting yourself first that was a little fun fact for you guys a little free gem but it's very crucial some of us are seers some of us are very sensitive we don't like being in the identity we don't like being in the ego but you need an identity you need a blue flame an archetype because if you don't you're going to be playing somebody else's seer you're not someone's emotional scapegoat you're not emotional portal so you need to put yourself first some of us wake up surrounded by some dark situations that i will not disclose there's no karmic retribution is here and we are creators we're not victims I don't like talking about it not that I'm you know but the truth of the matter some of us have to create our realms and realities every morning we have to climb that mountain I'm just gonna be real with you it's a real climb every day and it gets bigger better and better and stronger the band with you and the source gets stronger and you're coming back into divine union with yourself no doubt 
But I'm not gonna sit here and be cookie cutter like I live in Cali And like life is good, come to the mountains Yeah it is, that's what we all desire I'm not knocking that but I'm saying some of us are in the mud Please like the video The Metal Alchemist, thank you for joining me on this magical adventure There's nothing wrong with being on the mud Nothing wrong with being on earth But you gotta be practical And you gotta put yourself first Put your crown on That is why I'm here because you do have new beginnings coming, fam. It's a fool card, a symbol of new beginnings, innocence, spontaneous, an essence of free spirit. It heralds a fresh start, encouraging you to embrace the unknown with a joyful heart and an open mind. As we emerge from this transformative portal that we're going through, anticipating the dawn of new beginnings, the universe is aligning in your favor, inviting you to step into the uncharted territories with courage and wonder. I say the next card I pulled was the Three of Pentacles, embodying the energy of teamwork, collaboration, learning. Come on, this card signifies gathering of your maybe your soul family. But just know if it's not, these are kindred spirits watching, destined to walk this path with you. Whether it is a physical realm or spiritual team, you are supported and guided. Your celestial companions are standing with you, ready to assist in bringing forth your vision. Last but not least, the following card is the Two of Wands appeared, symbolizing future planning and progress and decisions and discovery. This card confirms that the seeds you've planted, come on, and the plans you have crafted are set to bear fruit. Legacy, monumental. You've been digitally working, diligently working towards this and it's on the horizon ready to manifest in your reality. I want to say trust in the divine timing and embrace this transformative energies. Your journey is one of destiny. It is filled with planning and unwavering support of your soul family and spiritual guide. I say you are blessed. The sun shines upon you internally and externally. What is the bottom of the deck? Conflict. Listen. Big Infinis, you you are royal, Cosmic you are a celestial, day. you'll create worlds, okay, and I feel to tell you this, if you're not north node into this, if you're not making your day, if you're not aligning yourself and putting yourself in the divine unions, and you just want to chill, you don't have that luxury no more, lead yourself, you're animated, you have the power, you are, the sun shines on you, I say you got new beginnings coming in, hold your cups, fill up your cups, things that you have planned for and you got the world in your hand my friend you got the world in your hand and the staff in your hand so we're talking legacy we're talking vision we're talking about plans for the future for humanity one zero eight four five close circle one zero eight four five thank you divine thank you spirit send a master those band avail protecting guiding me listen you are highly favored you're starting a new beginning your spiritual team is with you in the future you have collaborations and you're doing something major for the future of humanity you have the sun shining on you, don't forget that. And if you don't make your day, you're going to be a victim. So let's make our day our bitch, shall we? Uh, as always, our dangers are taken off.